Hey everyone, Rachel from Jacksonville Property here. Today I'm here with Jamie. Why don't you introduce yourself? Hey girl, uh, my name's Jamie Bailey. I own Hungry Critters Pest Control. Wonderful, it's obviously a bit of pest control there. So what other, what sorts of things do you actually do? Uh, basically cover anything from general pests through to termite management um, and eradication. Yeah, um, wonderful. Um, pest inspections, uh, pre-purchase. Mm -hmm. Uh, rodents, commercial and residential. Yep. Um, and all little bits and pieces go in, in between. between. <laughs> Wonderful. So talking about termites, um, what's your, I guess, recommendation? Obviously, we get told to do them uh, annually, but there's never a lot of uh, follow-up or... Um, um, annual is usually a good rule of thumb. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the time will depend on um, what we are inspecting, but mm -hmm. a good rule of thumb is um, usually every 12 months. Um, and that goes with um, new buildings as well, um, new builds. Uh, basically anything that's been put in place, um, termite management system will need follow-up procedures. So usually 12 months is yep. a good ballpark figure. Because it's a pretty high um, ratio in Australia, isn't it, for houses getting termites? Um, usually one in three. Yeah, which is... <laughs> Oh. Yeah, usually if it's not you, it's one of your neighbours. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And um, like Jamie said, with those new builds, they usually get their termite uh, done around that frame stage. So it's uh, not long after handover that they probably should be rechecked again, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, usually, um, easiest way to, to check is um, check your meter box. Mm -hmm. um, and most of the time, it'll have a date on it. So. Um, if you can stick within that 12 months, usually it's um, a good ballpark for you to, to keep an eye on. Anyway. Yeah, perfect. And if they're not checked every 12 months, you actually void your warranty with termite uh, protection with your frame, which can turn out to be very costly. Yes. Um, and as um, we've previously discussed before, um, a lot of um, new products tend to come with up to 50 years. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, just doing a 12 month inspection just keeps that in place. Yeah, which is definitely worthwhile. So I'm guessing you've seen a few expensive jobs with termites. Yes, <laughs> um, full gut jobs to you know, some minor stuff, but um, you know, regular uh, inspections would avoid some of the bigger costly jobs. So. It definitely doesn't take long for them to to take place and to find a little home and work no. away. Um, pretty much if you live basically around the coast of Australia, you're at high risk. Yeah, yeah. We uh, we used to manage some down in our Swansea and probably 90% of them all had it at some point. <laughs> yes, it not surprise me whatsoever. Um, so obviously termite is a good rule of thumb annually. What about general pest treatments? How often would you recommend someone get those done at a property? Um, normally every 12 months. Um, I mean, some circumstances might um, push you into six monthly mm -hmm. um, for residential anyway. Um, commercial stuff, obviously, that's on a case by case basis, depending on what um, what they've got mm -hmm. or what they're um, supplying. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, generally, rule of thumb every twelve months. Yeah, it just protects the property, I guess, from any sort of infestation that yeah. can damage the the property in any way. Now there are different kinds of pest treatments, is that right? Yes. Yeah, okay. So what's sort of the different kinds? So you've got your general pest, which usually would do your general spiders and bugs and things like that. Yep. Uh, what other kinds are there? Um, so uh, usually clients tend to get a little bit confused between um, general and Germans. Mm -hmm. um, Germans is a little bit more involved. Um, for us personally, uh, we do two treatments. Yes, yep. Uh, usually four weeks apart. Mm -hmm. um, whereas a general is just a one stop shop and we'll, you know, usually wouldn't need to go back for at least 12 months. Yep. Um, Germans then... is treat, go back four weeks, yep. and then from there, 12 months from there. Yeah, perfect. And there's usually a bit of a guarantee with the treatments, isn't there, that if they, if you're visible after you've been, that you can pop back? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Yes, absolutely. And um, so then end of lease sprays uh, for fleas and having pets at the property and things, there are different 
sort of treatment? Yes. Um, usually Andalusia's ground coverings, as you mm -hmm. said, like with pets, uh, most of the time it's covering the fleas. Yes, um, yep. So most of the time it is ground covering. Um, once they've moved all their furniture out, usually go in, treat the block, treat floor coverings mm -hmm. um, in the actual property yes, itself yep. as well um, to try and disrupt egg um, cycles and, and get rid of the problem for the next <laughs> client because yep. um, it's not nice living with fleas. No, definitely not. And is that the same kind of treatment? We have um, a huge issue around here with wolf spiders because they're a ground. Um, it's, I mean, it is a lot harder to treat them. Um, but, I mean, you can, uh, if you're doing regular treatments anyway, your um, chances of getting stuff like that on the block um, obviously become less mm -hmm. because there's less stuff there for them to um, basically chase. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's usually a case by case basis. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. It's just a huge issue with all the new estates and the <laughs> developments yes. going on. Um, especially for rodents too, with yes. new developments. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a lot of people getting mice. Yeah, um, disturbing their homes when they uh, build that next stage. Yeah. Um, and so obviously coming back to the, um, the Germans, Obviously, you've probably seen some bad cases there where they've been left unattended. Yes. Um, it's advisable to just get a professional in to do it. Um, I mean, going to Bunnings and just picking up one of those spray packs usually isn't going to suffice um, because you need to get on top of the, the, the cycle mm -hmm. that they have. Um, and if it's not taken care of quickly, they can you know, explode, as you've probably seen within your industry. Yeah, look, I think it's probably one of the things we get in common, seeing those uh, wonderful houses when the tenants move out, and it becomes quite apparent yeah. <laughs> that they've been there. Um, so generally, it's a good rule of thumb, if you see one, there's a hundred you can't see. Um, and you need With to, most yeah. of the time, yes. <laughs> you need to either contact Jamie so he can come in and treat them or contact your property manager so we can organise Jamie to come in and treat them for you because obviously making sure that the property is looked after and we don't want these things going through your items or destroying the stove. Um, <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, but if you have any questions at all relating to any sorts of pest control, Jamie's details will be available in the description of the video. And Jamie is our recommended uh, pest controller for the area. So if you do have any concerns, feel free to give him a call. Thanks for popping in. Thank you.